On this day that seems gray, it's okay, cause we're going around the world. On this day that seems gray, I'm telling you it's okay, cause we're going if we ever get there. Around the world, we're going around the world with Rebecca. And the plant! The plant's already where we're going. We're going to follow that plant to a new place. We're going around the world, around the world. <laughs> and back with Rebecca. That's me. Hey, Miss Rebecca, hey! Hello, Mr. Ingrid, hey, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm a little, I am a little bit freaked out by that, that uh, plant. Because that, dude, that, that's, that's quite big. It really is. There's more of it, too. It just keeps coming. Yeah. But I feel like it's a nice addition. It is. Did you ever see the Little Shop of Horrors? No. Yeah. Mm. Well, my friends, welcome to Around the World with Miss Rebecca. Yep. My name is Miss Rebecca with the Shaler North Hills Library. That's Miss Ingrid behind the iPad. She's and that the is... producer and the musical uh, uh, coordinator for the show. And this is The Plant. The Plant. I like that name. Yes. It's cool. And you may be like, why is there a plant here? And I'll tell you. Because behind me there is a window. Ah. Oh. And it has a bunch of beautiful plants on it. Right. Really making this space very uh, fresh and outdoorsy and breathable. And Mrs. Sawyer, for many, many years, kept it alive. She awesome. Did. And then uh, Miss Carr now keeps them alive. And you know what, though? I'm going to give myself a little bit of credit. Because when there were just um, myself and Miss Ingrid and Miss Sharon and Miss Mr. Steve here for many, many, months. many, many, many yeah, months, yeah. you kept it alive. I kept those plants alive. And yes, yes, there would be some sometimes when I think, ooh, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, plants, the and plants. They didn't seem very uh, healthy, but you brought them back. They made it. You know, I never took care of the plant, but I knew that from a long time ago because when I worked here when I was in high school and college, mm -hmm. my boss was Mrs. Mitnick, and there was one plant. I was, think I know which plant you're talking The jade plant? Yeah, yeah. Well, and, the plant who's named? Thirsty. Yes, yes. And so I would never water it. <laughs> and so Mrs. Mitnick called it thirsty. <laughs> it's thirsty it was, the plant. Have it's you wed thirsty? Yes, it's still here, and that was so thirsty's not thirty that years thirsty. ago. Thirsty's not that thirsty. You know. At least I didn't overwater. There you so go. I just want to say, on behalf of the plants, on behalf of the whole environment, because plants are very important. Thank you for, and the stuff you should know podcast this week talks about the Venus flytrap. Oh. Not the guy from WKRP in Cincinnati. Nobody but, thought that's... Well, it's interesting because they do mention that. They say this is not Venus Flytrap from... Because they were big oh. fans of the show. But just so you know, it's quite good because it talks about how plants communicate with each other. And it's... Yeah, plants are... It's pretty neat. Plants are smart. just plants. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. We're getting deep here. I know. Just like always. And well, now, well, there are plants where we're going, aren't there? Um, yeah, definitely. For sure. For sure. My friends, today we are traveling from southwestern Pennsylvania. There we are. Suburb of Pittsburgh. This yeah. is our little bubble. And as you know, we like to go all around the world because sometimes it feels like right in your little bubble. That's just <laughs> all there is. <laughs> you can hold it. I know, but I do, Sean. <laughs> okay, there we, are. there we are. Okay. Is it secure? It's secure. It's secure now. It wasn't before. As you know, here at Around the World with Miss Rebecca, we like to travel outside of our bubbles because sometimes when you're in your bubble, <laughs> it feels like that's the only thing that there is. It scared me when you're because I'm like zoomed up and like all of a sudden this big hand. <laughs> 
but but it not that you have a big hand you have you have regular hands you have great hands but but all but like on here it was magnified it was like what there's a giant hand do you ever did you ever watch seinfeld no oh. <laughs> such a good show i know tig Notaro and i are like the only people in the world i love it seinfeld. they just started showing it on comedy central yeah. and i know i know it's been streaming on one of the stream things, yeah. but I don't stream. I, we I run. I don't stream. On TV. Yeah. So we like to go around the world and meet new people. My friends, today we are traveling from... Your head is so big when it's zoomed in, you look like Karen. Venezuela. There it is. Don't zoom in on my head. I do a beautiful head. Don't zoom in on my head, please. Okay. Well, I'm zoomed it's out. It's very fuzzy today. That's great. It would blend in with the plant. Plants. Okay, my friends, today, won't you join me? Finally, we are getting to Venezuela. Here we are. From our good old handy dandy series, Countries We Come From. Now, this one is by Ariel Factor Birdoff. Now, my friends, just so you know, too, this is like the, just a teeny weeny introduction to a place. So always, please, if one of the places we journey to, look at all the places we've been. We've been a lot um, of places. You know, research them more, and you can also do mm -hmm. that here. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's right. You can do it there, because I have some, there's some pretty, I don't know if these things, the facts that I want to share are going to be mentioned here, but there's one pretty cool fact. I mean, there's a lot of cool facts, but I have a cool fact. But it, I bet I wonder if it's on that page. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. We'll find out when we get yeah. fast facts yeah. and cool facts. cool facts. I wonder if we can find out what a capital is today. I don't know. I hope so. I wouldn't hold my breath. Yeah. Table of contents, which most, a lot of nonfiction books have, as they should, and they help you find where you want to go. Let's find out more about the author because I don't know we've ever read one by Ariel Factor Birdoff. Nope. So we know we can find about the author on page 32. I'm which I that. know is in the back of the book. Yeah. About the author. Ariel Factor Birdoff is an outreach librarian in New York City. No! She lives in Queens with her husband and a lot of books. She loves to travel and hopes to visit as many countries as possible. Neat. That's cool. Because some people don't want to visit a lot of countries it, physically. I don't want to. I don't, right, right. I don't really like to leave home. I don't. I like to. I don't. I would like to maybe visit some other countries. I've only been to a few. But first I want to see in the United States because I just. It's cheaper. But well, that's a that's a good reason. It's fair, yeah. And it's yeah, practical. Yeah, it's practical. Yes, that's probably the better. Pra practicality. But I wouldn't mind going to the UK because my friend from far away ran the Manchester Marathon on Saturday and he did super great. So that makes you want to go to the UK. Well, because that's also where Judy Garland um, transitioned to the next world. Uh, and she, she, that's where she her life ended and also I'd like to see that place and I'd like to go to the UK so I could meet Jake in person mm -hmm. my friend who is a runner I, I, I like to stay at home yeah yeah that's okay home is great I, I like home yeah this is Venezuela breathtaking colorful wild Venezuela is a large South American country. It's twice as big as the state of California. And my friend, Whoa. California over, here we are, California is way over here on the West Coast. It's pretty darn big. It's pretty big and it's beautiful. Pretty big. Nearly 32 million people live in Venezuela. Venezuela's land is stunning. The country has thick forests and huge mountains. The Catatumba River is famous for lightning. There are over 250 million strikes there yearly. <laughs> okay. I think it shakes more when you put it in the I thing. Think the, yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, this is good. I'm just trying to. Okay. Here's some lightning on the river. Okay. Some mountains have flat tops. They are known as tepui. Oh. I think we learned about tepuis in another country. I wonder if it was... Australia? 
I bet it was one next to it because maybe it has the same. Oh, topology. Guyana. Maybe. Maybe. Well. For thousands of years, people have lived in Venezuela. Early settlers included the Carib and the Tomoto Quichu people. This clay figure from Venezuela is more than 1,000 years old. That kind of looks like me. No, it doesn't at all. A little bit. Not at all. The Tomoto Quicas built villages and valleys. They farmed the land. The Carib people still live in parts of Venezuela. They speak a language called Carib. Venezuela is bursting with life. The country is home to many plants and animals. The national flower is the orchid. There's a picture of the orchid. I killed nine orchids this year. Not intentionally, though. No. Okay. No, but boy. Like how? Different ways? Or? I don't even know. Being okay. in their presence, right, underwatering, right. All right. overwatering. Yeah, some were thirsty and some were not. No. Yeah. But it just. It was a bad year for the orchids. <laughs> At the Alessandria household, yeah. it most certainly was. Yeah. It was so funny on a side note. So I got the one orchid, and it was. It was like an orchid that had like two stems that go like this and curved over and it had a bunch of different blooms. But yeah. I just consider all those blooms one orchid. I don't yeah. know if that's right or not, but that's how I did it. Mm. And they were really, you know, pretty and like some are ready to bloom. And I got it from a uh, my niece's wedding shower. Oh. And my mom was there too and she got an orchid to take home. Yeah. And we went over to my mom and dad's house for a 4th of July picnic in Alyssa, um, my fabulous stepdaughter, you know, her and her boyfriend were with us. And Alyssa and I walked into my mom's living room where she had the orchid and we just looked at each other because it was like, oh, oh it just and really... all in splendor. We just looked wait, at each other like, that's I, not what ours looks because like. Because I know why. Because <laughs> I know why. Because orchids <laughs> I know are supposed to say. be hot. Right? Yeah. They're hard. And, I don't know. And your mom, no, that's true. And your mom lives in the South. That's true. And so it's naturally going to be. Park. Right. And so it's naturally going to live in the South. You live <laughs> way up North. You live in Pine. It looked beautiful. I mean, that's why. It's not your fault. <laughs> it was just so funny. You know, when you can just have a whole conversation with somebody. Right, with, with your just eyes like, like what? Mm -hmm. And you probably had a mask on, so it was totally your <laughs> Yeah, eyes. it was like, oh. You know, the, this is interesting. The orchid, if you ever go to the fifth, there's a whole orchid room and the first couple I ever married the uh, one of the members of the couple Georgia yeah. she used to be in charge of the orchid room at the Phipps oh yeah they have orchids at Giant Eagle too oh, okay cool 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 yeah yeah, yeah. All the things you didn't need to know. Venezuela's most famous bird is the tropical trupial. The largest rodent in the world lives in Venezuela. It's called the capybara. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! I wonder, were there any books about the capybaras? I feel like I would have looked. I, I want one of are. those! But that's not what we're learning about. That's okay. Gosh, I feel like we did for something. Capybaras? I keep going to Australia. I don't know why. In 14... Kookaburras are in Australia. I don't know. What? Kookaburras in Australia. I don't know. Yeah. In 1498, Christopher Columbus saw Venezuela from the ocean. Soon after, <laughs> the Spanish took control of the land. Yeah. In and he took it! In 1811, Venezuela won its independence from Spain. Independence Day is celebrated on July 5th. This is Venezuela's Independence Day. A man named Simon Bolivar helped drive the Spanish out of Venezuela. And, and a statue do you remember when we learned about him when we did Bolivia? Yes. And we discovered that he... He liberated most, many, many of the South American countries, and that's why he's really held up in great esteem in South America. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Caracas is Venezuela's largest city. It's also the country's capital. I wish I knew what that was. This is Caracas. Well, Miss Ingrid, you're going to find out because whenever we see a bolded word yeah. in our book, it'll be defined in the glossary. Okay, cool. Sit cool. tight. 
Alright. Other large cities are Maracaibo, Valencia, and Maracay. Okay. Over 40 languages are spoken in Venezuela. The main language is Spanish. This is how you say mountain in Spanish. Montaña! Montaña. I mean, I think I'm saying that really Pittsburghy. Yeah, that's all right. This is how you say sun in Spanish. Sol. Sol. The Carib word for sun is huayu. Huayu. Venezuelan food is tasty. Mm. A popular meal is ajiaca. It's made with meat and vegetables. You serve it on a banana leaf. Wow, that's wacky. Arepas are grilled corn cakes. They are mm. stuffed with meat, eggs, Ooh. or cheese. Yum. Indeed. One shop in Venezuela has 900 kinds of ice cream. It even has a flavor called hot dog. Are you kidding me? I would not eat ice cream flavored like a hot dog. I probably wouldn't even try it. I wouldn't try yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd be interested in an ice cream shop with 900 flavors. What am I supposed to do? I know, with that? I know. That's because too sometimes, much. yeah, and you wonder, I don't know. I'm, yeah. And how fresh are all 900 well, of these yeah. ice creams? Yeah. Are they dairy based? Because some of them might have been there a while. Or are they astronaut based? Oh. Uh, which is fine then. Gosh. You know what I mean? Because then. There's just know. so much going on with astronauts yeah. these days. Yeah. Venezuelan musicians play. Joropa. It's a kind of folk music. The joropa was introduced by Spanish settlers. Dancers twirl around. They stomp their feet to the music. What's the most popular sport in Venezuela? Is it soccer? Baseball. No way! In Spanish baseball is called baseball. It's pronounced the same way as in English. Venezuelans also enjoy soccer. Fans so they're not made the country's team. Okay. Lots of festivals are celebrated in Venezuela. The most colorful is Carnival. People dress up and dance in the streets. In July, Venezuelans celebrate Dia del Nino. It's a holiday that honors children. Christmas is a big holiday in Venezuela. How do people celebrate? Many roller skate to church. In Spanish, Christmas is called Navidad. Like Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. I think we're gonna keep going. Los perros años feliz Navidad. Others set off dazzling fireworks. Huh. That's pretty wild. Fast facts. Okay. Capital city Caracas. Population of Venezuela almost 32 million. Main language Spanish. Money Venezuelan Bolivar. Major religion, Roman Catholic. Neighboring countries, Brazil, Guyana, and Colombia. Cool fact. The highest waterfall in the world is Venezuela's Angel Falls. It's more than twice as tall as the Empire State Building. Wow. That's tall. Yeah. Like, can you even imagine? Not really. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can I, I give my cool good, fact? Uh, I don't know good imagination for actual things. Well, the only reason I was Empire State Building is one place I've been up in, so I'm just trying to think, like, wow. And, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have an idea. Like, if I hadn't been up it, like, then I wouldn't have no clue. Yeah. Oh, I think I have been in the Empire State Building yeah. because in high school, we went on a trip to New York City one See? weekend. Yeah. In junior year, mm -hmm. and I have been up there. See, think about that. Think about it's really tall. Yeah, if it were singing that song, it would be like, I'm very, 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 very tall. Can I'm I give me even, even, even more, more tall? Oh, yeah, really, it wouldn't even tall. go there. With tall, 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 and tall, and tall, and tall. Okay, let's get to the glossary. This 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 episode really this is interesting. Yeah, capital, a city where a country's government is based. Mm. Festivals, celebrations, independence, mm. freedom, national, having to do with the whole country. The end. Can I share my cool fact? 
Sure. And you can find out more information about it. Venezuela currently is going through some really tough times. Okay, really tough times. Is that where Mr. Times. Bolsonaro is? I don't know who that is. Go on. But I think it was either 30 or 40 years ago, and you can find out in the link. Uh, they started a program which has been replicated throughout the world of Youth Symphony Orchestra. And the current one is named after Simon Bolivar. And the whole point is to bring classical music and food and education and whatnot to the poorest of poor. Nice. And many people, in fact, the head of the Los, Los Angeles uh, Philharmonic Orchestra is a product of um, the Venezuelan Orchestra. And it really, and so they've been doing this for for. 30 or maybe 40 years, but the link's up there. That's really interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's such a cool fact. Yeah. It's a real cool fact. But we need to keep thinking about the Venezuelans because they're, they're having a hard, hard, hard time right now. Well, yeah. on that note, let's learn about mountains. Mountains. Would you like me to sing a song about mountains? No, thank you. Climb every mountain. What's that from? Remember? No. Ford every stream. Follow every rainbow. Till you find... Sound of music. I've never seen it all the whole way through. Oh, it's pretty good. The lo most I've ever watched the Sound of Music was when they did it with live people with Carrie Underwood and the guy from True Blood. I didn't see that. I think the movie's quite good. It's also interesting because a movie like The Sound of Music, and I also feel this way about Cabaret, and I also feel this way about Gone with the Wind, what is going on in during the movie uh, the histor historical event, in the case of those three, it's it's wars, you know, wars. It, the war itself is also a character in the movie, you know what I mean? But not, not really, but definitely impacts everything. It's very subtle until you get to the end of The Sound of Music, and it's, it's eerie in Cabaret. I have tried to watch Sound of Music, and the problem is its length and yeah, me falling asleep. I would definitely recommend Cabaret, not for kids, not for kids, um, but Cabaret the movie, and if you ever get to see the stage play, it's fantastic, but Cabaret is, it's, it's creepy, but it's good, it's quite good, and, and it's important, it's important. Is it as good as learning about the Earth Mountains? No, probably not. Okay. Yeah. Learning about uh, the Earth Mountains by Emily K. Green. Yeah. We have a table of contents. They are. We can't learn more about the author here, though. That's not an option. Well, because I don't think that's her real name. Like, when she writes about the Earth. I mean, for her... What a coincidence for her name to be Green. Emily K. Green, but maybe that's what she writes under. Okay. Yeah. I just read a book by an author who used one name for this book, but he used his other names for other books. Yeah, yeah. I know people that have done that. And like a long, long, long time ago when people never wanted, didn't think women could write. Frankenstein? Yeah, yeah. Why? Frankenstein's a good book. Was Frankenstein going under somebody other's name? Well, she didn't say her first name. Oh, okay. Just initials. Wow. Well, That's J.K. Wacky. Rowling, I mean, you knew she was a woman, but and then she wrote grown-up books under a whole different name, a man's name. And you know what blew my mind? Hmm. When I was a kid? Hmm. S.E. Hinton. Girl? Never would have thought that. Outsiders? Yeah. Okay, my And how all, that really shows, like, our stereotypes and the, the preconceived notions we have. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Well, J.D. Robb we is Nora Roberts, isn't right. it? Right, and Lawrence Block is written under a woman's name, and I love Lawrence Block. The person who writes V.C. Andrews books, like V.C. Andrews passed yeah. away so long ago. Right, right. But they keep churning those out, and that's a gentleman. It's amazing what technology can do. Yeah. Okay. Well, on to mountains. There we are. This, I don't know that this ranks in our top ten of Around the World's with Miss Rebecca. I think, actually, it's funny because when we shut off the camera, I was going to say that was the best one ever. If you weren't. Yeah, I was. I think, because I think not only are we talking about Venezuela and mountains, we're really giving of ourselves, too. And I, I think that's what the people like. <laughs> 
my friends. Right, people? <laughs> Mel person. Mountains are high Mrs. places Paz? on the earth. A mountain is taller than the land all around it. Mm -hmm. A mountain can even rise above the clouds. Mountains are made of rock. Some mountains are rounded and smooth. Some mountains are steep and jagged, like my broken tooth. Oh! Mount Everest in Asia is the highest mountain in the world. Most mountains sit in a line or a group called a range. Some mountains rise from the bottom of the ocean. Mm -hmm. Some underwater mountains are tall enough to break through the surface. These mountains make islands. So wild. The top of a mountain is called the peak. The air is always colder at the peak. The peaks of mountains, the peaks of high mountains may be covered in snow and ice all year. The sides of a mountain are called slopes. Plants and trees may grow on the slopes. Many rivers begin in the mountains. Melted snow flows down the slopes of mountains. The water flows into streams. The streams flow into rivers. Rocks on a mountain sometimes crack and break loose. Falling rock is called an avalanche. Snow can make avalanches too. Some people like to climb mountains. Not me. No, me people either. need special equipment to climb the highest mountains. Other people like to go down mountains. Whoosh. Not, Not me. me. Uh. Oh, and all of a sudden we're at the glossary. Capital. My, my friends, avalanche, rock or snow falling down a mountain. Climb to go up. Clouds, a clump of water drops and dust in the sky. Hmm. I don't know that I've ever heard cloud described. No, like me that. neither. Yeah. Clump, I like it. A clump I mean, of water yeah, drops and I dust like it. in the sky. I like it, Ms. Green. Equipment, gear used for a specific activity. Hmm. Island, area of land surrounded by water on all sides. Jagged, my tooth, sharp and rocky. Yeah. Mount Everest, the highest mountain on earth. Mount Everest sits on the border of Nepal and China. Peak, the top of a mountain. Range, a line or group of mountains. Slopes, the sides of a mountain. And steep, slopes that go up very quickly. That's cool. Mountains. That's cool. My friends. That was Venezuela and mountains. I feel like if we caused you to be interested in either of any those, of these things, um, anything, please explore orchids, more. I, those marmots or whatever they were, those things. Capybaras. Capybaras. Not a marmot, but an animal. <laughs> <laughs> any and all animals. Seinfeld. So good. Cabaret. And you could watch Seinfeld with your child in the room. And wouldn't. And no. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't even know. Yeah. Cool. So funny. You probably, you probably <laughs> could just do, I don't know if out. you could do it. Cabaret, the music's so, anyway. We went around the world. A few times. Around the like. world with Rebecca. <laughs> and the plant. And the plant. We talked about lots of things <laughs> in Venezuela <laughs> and beyond. Or about other things in Venezuela. Well, it only goes to show how much we're connected. But no offense to Venezuela, it just happened. We are one people in the world. That is true. A global citizenry. We're going around the world, around the world with Rebecca. That was me, my friends. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Bye.